Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Unlike you know who, Joe Biden did not duck out of his D-Day duties last Thursday. But was he really all there? The video suggests that he was not. At one of the main ceremonies, the 81-year-old commander-in-chief attempted to sit down at the wrong moment, then changed his mind. His wife, First Lady Jill, put her hand in front of her mouth to whisper something urgent to her ailing husband, to no avail. The leader of the free world stood motionless, locked in a semi-squat, for several excruciating seconds. It was just one of several seriously senior moments throughout the day. As French President Emmanuel Macron stood about glad-handing the hero veterans, Jill led her husband offstage by the hand. And when Joe did have a chance to sit down, he appeared to doze off. Donald Trump's son, Donald J.N.R., wasted no time in calling Biden an embarrassment, and, while no decent person should mock the elderly, it's hard to disagree. On Monday, Biden followed up with yet another painful senile episode. Celebrating the Juneteenth, the ultra-woke federal holiday he signed into law to celebrate the end of slavery, he appeared to freeze once again, his gaze a million miles away for several awful seconds as people danced around him. It's all so awkward. The president has spent three years suffering these humiliations on the world stage, and he's only getting worse. His campaign team often accuse their enemies of manipulating the footage to make him seem more gaga than he is. But there is no denying that Joe gives them plenty of humiliating material with which to work. Worse, as November 5th, the day of the presidential election, draws closer, and his schedule inevitably becomes more grueling, the president's decline appears to be fast accelerating at just the wrong time. As a result, his re-election campaign is getting more and more ugly to watch. He is now experiencing what Shakespeare called the second childishness and mere oblivion that accompany a man's final years. According to White House doctors, Biden suffers from significant spinal arthritis, which increasingly impedes his movement. That's why he wears thick-soled black trainers to assist his mobility. It's also why Biden's handlers are desperate to minimize the amount of time the president is seen moving on his own. His press conferences are tightly stage-managed and the White House now has a PR protocol whereby several of the president's entourage walk as slowly as they can alongside him as he shuffles glacially across the lawn between the White House and Marine One, the presidential helicopter. The idea is to stop yet more footage of his blatant daughteriness. Physical handicaps need not detract from great leadership, of course. Franklin D. Roosevelt, in charge when Allied forces stormed those French beaches 80 years ago, had been afflicted by polio and used a wheelchair and today nobody would question his ability to lead. But Biden's health struggles appear to be mental, too. He can't appear in public without looking lost. His childhood stutter, which he managed to overcome as a younger man, seems to have come back with a vengeance in his twilight years. The first lady now seems effectively to be doubling up as the first carer, frequently shepherding her confused husband through his public appearances. Even Biden's allies have given up trying to hide their concerns. Last week, in a significant breach of the OMERDA in Democratic circles on the issue of Biden's health, senior sources close to the president revealed that, yes, Biden shows his age in meetings. This confirms what Republicans who have dealt with him in recent months allege. In January, at a congressional meeting on national security and Ukraine, it's claimed that Biden spoke so faintly that people struggled to hear him, paused absently mid-sentence, and closed his eyes for so long aides worried he'd nodded off. Surveys suggest that only 4 in 10 Americans are confident Biden can even remember his own age, while only 1 in 3 believe he can fully digest national security briefings. This widespread perception of Biden's feebleness is understood to be one of the main reasons why, according to electoral polls, Donald Trump will beat him in November. It's not just Biden's public appearances that cause voters to think he's not up to the job. As his mind wanders, it's clear that his administration is increasingly being led by his cabinet and senior members of his.